Okay, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be organizing my tools on the lathe. And what I'm going to do is I have this piece of unistrut. I'm going to mount it on the back of the lathe. And then I 3D printed these tool holders. And you see the tool goes in. We'll try it again. <laughs> the tool goes in like that. Okay. And then it will attach to the unistrut. They make these fancy unistrut bolts. I'm not sure what they're called. They have a spring on them and they fit in here like this and they stay put and as you can see they have this area milled out if you want to say so it sits right in the channel. These things are expensive. So what I did was I went on GrabCAD and I found some and I 3D printed them. Then while I was doing that, I figured, well, screw it. You know, the bolts are expensive too. So I 3D printed uh, some bolts. So what I'll have is this. I'll have this. I got one already assembled here real quick. Like this, see that? It'll go in here. It'll go in here like that, tighten down and it'll go on like that and it'll hold it in place. Now the other thing is uh, mounting it to the back of the lathe it would end up being uh, straight up and down so I need to have this mounted at a 60 degree angle so I 3D printed some 60 degree angle blocks which will go in like that so it'll mount at an angle. The 3D printer does a good job of printing the threads but they're not real crisp. So you still have to clean them up with a die and a tap. I'm going to run the tap through these T-nuts. So that worked out good. I'll fly right through these bolts, right? Yeah, stay tuned. Well, let's grab the drill with the hex head, see what happens. And you guessed it, I stripped it out. So I spend the next several hours, yes, several hours trying to figure out how I'm going to fix this. So what I decide on is I'm going to heat the Allen up with that propane torch and melt it into the head of the bolt. This will definitely work, right? This process worked kinda sorta. It was a real pain in the neck. And remember, I have six of these to do. The problem I would have is sometimes the key would melt deep into the socket head and if I let it cool the plastic would melt around the actual hex and it gets stuck into the bolt. I tried different variations of this process and none of them really worked that well. It still was a real pain in the neck. <laughs> Who didn't see that coming? So what happened was, I, if you want to call it broached it, I broached it down so far that it went into the threads. And look, it compromised it. So, Because I didn't print these, I don't even know what it, I think I did 20% on these. Now I gotta get this out. This is where I had a revelation. I grabbed a screwdriver and just jam it down in there and thread it out. Why am I using a hex when I could be using a screwdriver? The screwdriver trick is working good and it's a lot faster. Unfortunately, I keep breaking these cap screws. I'm going to have to print these at 100%. I get the Unistrut installed using those 60 degree wedges. I just bolt the Unistrut to that lip on the back of the lathe. These things are working just as I intended. Easy to install and easy to adjust. I make a slight adjustment to the holder so it can accept my chuck key and my wrench.
One last thing. I need a way to hold my chuck and my live scent. Okay, there we go. That's working out pretty good. I'm okay with that. I have a spare one for the tool that's on the lathe. I have these, obviously. have one for my wrench. That wrench will be used right here to loosen that. That's how we spin this if we have to. And then, of course, the drill chuck in the live center. So everything's right here at my fingertips. I think this worked out pretty good. After about a month of use. Well, we have our first casualty of the 3D printed holders. Uh, this was holding the chuck key and, you know, I knew this was gonna happen. You know, you have to pull it all the way out like this. Well, I was grabbing it like this and pulling and I broke it. Besides that one problem, these have been working out really well. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.